opens the court of Alfar and Letitia, Prince and Princess of the Mists. Their Highnesses welcome into their court Titus and Ellis, King and Queen of the West, and Enora, Princess of Sanagua. You have his, their Highnesses leave to be seated and comfortable. Your Highnesses, Jarl Thorfinn has business before you. and the war season ends. You set down sword and spear and think of hall and song. You have done well and guarded this, king, this principality well, and it is now time for you to divest yourself, for one of great renown comes before you, one who needs no introduction. The word fame is huge in this hall. Your Highness, by law and custom, Gillian Trenowin comes to claim what is rightfully hers, the crown and throne of the mists. Let her be brought forward. Sir Leotolf was Gillian's champion and was the victor of the coronet list. I do. Come, Neil, before us. As you have been given victory over the field, the greatest honor of your lady, we would welcome you as our heir, the coronet of Anthrones. Will you now swear fealty to the Principality of the Mist and swear to uphold the laws of the Principality of the Mist and the Kingdom of the West? I will. As you have inspired your champion to victory over the field, we would welcome you as our heir to this coronet and this throne to the Principality of the Mists. Will you now swear fealty to the Principality of the Mists and swear to uphold the laws and the Principality of the Mists and the Kingdom of the West? I will. Marshal, sword of state. Here it comes right behind you. <laughs> Of the mist, to uphold the laws of the principality, 
to come and to go, to do and to be, to speak and to be silent, to do and to let be, to strike and to spare, to punish and to reward, in all matters that concern the principality, in need or in plenty, in peace or in war, in living or in dying. From this hour henceforth, until we depart our thrones, death take us, or the world end. So say I, Laetor. <laughs> take these robes of state and hold them in our trust for our heirs. Now, in accordance with law and custom, I, Alfar, crown you Leotol, Prince of the Mist. For too long have you toiled in the shadows. Now it is your turn to sit in the light. Accordance with law and custom, I lay it Crown you, Gillian. Your Highnesses leave to be seated and make yourselves comfortable. <laughs> the rolling princes and princesses of the mist will be ready to feast this evening. Duke Steingrim Stellari, come now before their Highnesses. in the known world. I bring goblets and drink that you may toast the peace and prosperity of your people and principality. Let the great officers of state and the bard of the mist come forward and kneel before the thrones. Princess of the Mists, to the populace of the Mists, greetings. Now know ye that we have conceded and granted, and by this charter confirmed, to all the great officers in the Bard of the Mists, all the concessions, grants, liberties, and free customs that Alfar and Letitia, our predecessors, gave and conceded to them, with the exception of any change to law and custom that we deem necessary. Do you now swear fealty to Leotolf and Gillian, your undoubted prince and princess? And do you swear that you will obey their lawful commands in all matters that concern the principality, faithfully discharge the duties of your offices, uphold the coronet and the laws of the mists, and, mindful that the harmony of the principality springs from your deeds, that you will treat all with courtesy until the prince and princess depart from their thrones, death take you, or the world end. I, I do so, sir. 
And we, for our part, do swear fealty to these great officers and to our bard. And we swear to them to protect and defend them and all who serve with them. Until we depart our thrones, death take us, or the world end. So say we, Lantel, Prince of the Mist. So also say we, Gillian, Princess of the Mist. Great officers of this principality keep the principality running, and it is to these people that we owe the greatest debt of thanks that we have to give. Let all the landed barons and baronesses of the principality who wish to swear fealty come forward and kneel before the throne. swear fealty to Leotolf and Gillian, your undoubted prince and princess, that saving only your fealty to the crowns of the West, that you will obey their lawful commands in all matters that concern the principality, <coughs> uphold the coronet and the principality of the mists, and mindful that having held a throne set you as an example to all, treat courteously with those of every degree, until the prince and princess <laughs> depart from their thrones, or death take you, or the world end. I so swear. And we, for our part, do swear to you to these royal peers of the mists. We swear to protect and defend you and all of your household with all of our power. Until we depart our thrones, death take us for the world end. So say we, Leotel, Prince of the Mists. So also say we, Gillian, Princess of the Mists. You have our Let all knights of the principality who wish to swear fealty come forward with their swords girded on and kneel before his highness. Do you now swear fealty to Leotolf and Gillian, your undoubted prince and princess? that saving only your fealty to the crown of the West, you will obey their lawful commands in all matters that concern the principality, uphold the coronet and the principality of the mists, and that you will treat with chivalry those of every degree until the prince depart from his throne, death take you, or the world end. I do so swear. swear. And we, for our part, swear fealty to these knights of the mists. We swear further to protect and defend you and all of your household with all of our power, until we depart our throne, death take us, or the world end. So swear we, Leotel, Prince of the Mists. So also swear we, Gilead, Princess of the Mists. Long live the Prince of the Mists! Long, Long live, live the Prince, Prince of the Mists! Companions, 
Highness of the Order of the Laurel, who wish to swear fealty, come forward and kneel before their Highnesses. swear fealty to Leotold and Gillian, your undoubted prince and princess, that saving only your fealty to the crowns of the West, you will obey their lawful commands in all matters that concern the principality, uphold the coronet and principality of the mists, and, mindful that the honor of your order springs from your own deeds, treat courteously with those of every degree, until the prince and princess depart from their thrones, or death take you, or the world end. I so swear. And we, for our part, do swear fealty to these companions of the Laurel, to support the noble order to which they belong, and to protect and defend them and their households with all our power until we depart our throne, death take us, or the world end. So swear we, Gillian, Princess of the Mists. So also swear we, Leopold, Prince of the Mists. Your Majesties, the Prince and Princess of the Mist request permission to swear fealty for the lands they hold in trust for you. Let the Prince and Princess of the Mist come before their Majesties. I get hurt. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Good call. Do you swear fealty to Titus and Ellis, your undoubted king and queen, and do you swear that you will honor, maintain their Majesty's lands in the Principality of the Mist, that you will obey their lawful commandments in all matters that concern the kingdom, that you will uphold the crown and the kingdom of the West, and mindful of the harmony of your principality, that you will treat courteously with those of every degree until the king depart from his throne, death take you, or the world end. I so swear. And we for our part, we swear fealty to you, our prince and princess of the Mist, protect and defend you and your principality with all our power until death until we depart our throne, death take us or the world end. So say we, Titus, King of the West. So also say we, Ellis, Queen of the West. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> we recognize the responsibilities of the, that the coronet holds, and we wish it known that we refer and uphold all charters and tradition that exist between the Mist and the West. And we specifically grant our royal prince and princess the privileges of bestowing leaves of achievement on those subjects they find worthy of such honor. Thank you. Thank you. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Their Highnesses call before them Loy Sheeman de Klena and Castellana de Mar. So we will invest them in a later time. Thank you so much. Law change. Section 1.1, .1, Captain General. 
At the cornet's pleasure, a war leader may be appointed. Section 1.12.1, .1. duty. The Captain General will be charged with leading the forces of the mists at wars and with the maintenance of the regalia for this office. Section 1.12.2, .2. determination. The Captain General will be chosen in a matter that pleases the sovereign of the mists during whose reign that Captain General serves. The manner of determination may be announced and carried out while the sovereign is still lord or lady of the mists. Section 1.12.3, term. As the Captain General follows the sovereign, so does the position. The sovereign shall bestow in ceremony the general with his or her charge at any time during his or her reign and reclaim it prior to his or her stepping down. Section 1.12.4, regalia. The regalia shall consist of a token of the order of the Corolla Nebulorum cast in bronze, pendant from a chain of steel. The regalia shall pass with the office or shall be returned when the sovereign of the mist steps down. Section 1.12.5, privileges. At the sovereign's will, the captain general may take the field with the army without the sovereign's presence. If the Captain General is not a holder of the Corolla Morales, this office will include that award. The fortunes of war are capricious. The Saxons at Hastings saw a single error, arrow, leave Harold's host leaderless and vulnerable, so that such disarray shall never strike the forces of the mists. It has been determined that one should be named Captain General of the Mists, serving as second in command to the prince in time of war. The prince now calls before him Viscount Rorik Skogen. <laughs> shown outstanding leadership on the field of battle, and we know of your loyalty to the Mist. We are minded to name you Captain General of the Mist. Will you accept from us this position? I will, Your Highness. Now then, do we, Prince Leotolf, name you Rorik, Captain General of the Mist, and commend to you our armies that they should obey your orders as our own. Take from us this token, a chain of steel to remind you of your bonds to the Principality and a medallion of bronze, the medal of warriors since antiquity. <coughs> we will put your lord in harm's way. We will offer you a gift. So thank you for his service. <coughs> for the new Captain General of the Mist, hip hip! Huzzah! Hip hip! Huzzah! Hip -hip. As a knight carries his lance into battle to slay his adversaries, so does the prince carry his lance into war to strike down his foes and shield his person while he himself shields the principality. Prince Leotolf, knowing that war is an ever-present concern of his people, now calls forth the following. Sir Robert of Woodsend, Sir Richard de Camby, Sir Brian of Glastonbury, Sir Geoffrey Matthias, Martin of Rivenstar, Godric of Castlemont, Klaus Rother von Schweineken, Eric von Elsk, Lutol von Altstadt, Linnet of Beaumarie, Jean Guillaume Duplice, also known as Jean Guillaume Duplessis. <laughs> you speak so pretty. <laughs> Joseph de la Torre. Rosario de la Torre. <coughs> we are minded to name you to our lance. Will you accept this position from us, knowing that you may be called upon to defend our life with your own? Yes. 
If there any of these are squire to any knight, let those knights come forward and kneel beside them. on you as you are here kneeling to bear witness. Do you now accept the responsibilities of service in the lance of the Prince of the Mists? And do you pledge to aid your prince in war and tend him on the battlefield should it be within your power? I have no idea. I swear. I swear. Your Highness, do you wish to name an Oberst to your lance? I do. Sir Robert, will you accept the position of Oberst to the Prince's lance? Highness, I will accept the then accept from us this torse, augmented with gold, as a token of your rank. I will it with my hands. <coughs> I give you the, to you these rings. If you see acts of great chivalry or courtesy on the battlefield, give those in my hand. Thank you. Accept from us these torses of green, blue, and red as a sign of your position. <coughs> and give these flowers to those whose favor you carry as a sign of our thanks. And I give to each of you the same charge that are arranged on the torches. Those you witness, reward them in my name. Kneeling before you, is a single company of the mists. The Raven Company. We elected not to break up any units to form the Prince's Lance, that the mists might be better defended by one group which is used to working together. Millen, please come forward before His Highness. <coughs> My mistake. <laughs> it's not easy being green. Our apologies. <laughs> Thanks, may I stand beside my, my yes. 
Deal. <laughs> Noble Knights, do we have your permission to name your squires to our guard? Most assuredly. Yes, you do. Then we freely bow unto you that we shall require no thing of your squires that shall violate the fealty each of you has sworn to the other. And we shall consider all their acts of valor and courtesy to be a reflection on you. Please stand and bear witness. Do you now accept the responsibilities of service in the guard of the Princess of the Mist? And do you pledge to come to the aid of your princess should it become necessary and within your power? <coughs> your Highness, is it your wish to name a captain of your guard? It is. Jason Rivirius Paladus, will you accept from us the position of captain of the Princess's Guard? Then accept from, this, from us <coughs> this favor and this baldric as a token of your position. These favors were made by Guillaume <coughs> Duplessis. They have their leather garter with uh, my dolphin and letter G. The captain, the knight counselor, and the champion all have unique ones, and then the guard have uh, slightly less exciting but very lovely. <laughs> <laughs> For the rest of you, accept from us these tokens as a sign of your position, and give these flowers to those whose favor you carry as a sign of my thanks. Gentlemen, on behalf of our princess, we thank you for the loan of your knights and men at arms. There should be one of high honor, courtesy, and prowess at arms, to whom the members of her guard might go for instruction in the virtues and skills of chivalry. She therefore asks of her lord the prince Abu that he name one of his sworn <coughs> knights to serve as knight counselor to her guard. She asks that this be one who can train, advise, and encourage her guard, that their virtues may increase. In this way, she will be better defended, and her honor will be magnified. There are many of our knights who have these virtues. Is there one whom you especially? Favor for this position? Indeed. We would favor Havek Duke Bender. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Your Highness, in this choice, I am not sworn Knight of the Mist. Am I still acceptable to you? Indeed, you are.
Grace, we appoint you that counsel of our princess's guard and charge you to obey her highness as you would ourselves in all that better. <laughs> we, we further charge you to continue as an example of courtesy, honor, chivalry, prowess at arms, and to aid the members of their guard to improve their skills both on and off the field that they may be prepared to enter one day into the order of chivalry. Please wear this token that all may know you as Knight Counselor of our Guard and accept this flower as my thanks. We ask that you and our Guard stand ready to attend us as we make amends. She has chosen me for this task. She has chosen for you a harder task. <laughs> and we will get to know you all better in service of Highness. Thank you, Grace. You have our leave to depart. Long live the Princess of the Mist. Long live the Princess of the Mist. by his own ability, having earned the title and estate of a Viscount, here presents himself 
that he may receive this same title from your highnesses. Alfar, we have seen you rule this realm justly and with strength and courage. And it is our honor to raise you to this estate. It is my honor to name you Alpha. We, Lantolf and Gillian, Prince and Princess of the Mist, in recognition that our subject, Alfar Utherson, has served as Prince of this realm, do hereby style him Viscount. We do affirm his sole and unique and exclusive right to bear arms by letter patents in the Kingdom of the West, as soon as he gets them. <laughs> <laughs> Lantolf, Prince, Gillian, Princess. They're under submission. I've been on the boy. <laughs> To you, Lee Jen, before your peers repeat after me, here do I swear by mouth and hands. Here do I swear by mouth and by hand. Fealty and service. Fealty and service. To the coronet and principality of the mist. The coronet and the principality of the mist. To speak and to be silent. To speak and to be silent. To do and to let be. To do and to let be. To come and to go. To come and to go. To strike and to spare. To strike and to spare. In all matters as concern the principality. In all matters that concern the principality. Upon my honor. Upon my honor. And the lawful command of the coronet. And the lawful command of the coronet. In need or in plenty. In need or in plenty. In peace or in war. In peace or war. In living or in dying. In living or dying. Until the prince depart from his throne. Until the prince depart from his throne. Death take me. Death take me. Or the world end. Or the world end. So say I. So say I. I'll fall. This we hear, nor fail to remember. And we, for our part, swear fealty to you, Alpha Rutherton, Viscount. And we swear to protect and defend you and your household with all of our power until we depart our throne, death pay death, for the world end. So say we, Gwen, Princess of the Mist. So also say we, Gillian, Princess of the Mist. Take dresses. Thank you. 
you so much for coming. We are amazed and humbled by the number of folks here. It's lovely. Uh, we hope to serve you as your prince and princess well. Uh, we will do our very best. We hope to visit all the different areas of the principality during our reign. And we look forward to meeting new friends as well as spending time with those that we already know very well. We will be having a banner bearer tourney shortly. I hope many of you brought your armor. To carry the banner of the Principality in war is an honor. And we look forward to meeting with many of you, both this evening and over the course of the next six months. Thank you again. And we will uh, see you after the tournament. Uh, small poster. Uh, we'll be having the tourney shortly. There will be court. As soon as it's reasonable thereafter to invest that banner bearer and do a few other things in advance of the feast so that those of you who are not able to attend the feast uh, might be able to attend that and then be on your This end, thus ends the court of Leotolf and Gillian, Prince and Princess of the Mists. Long live the Prince! Long live the Prince! Long live the princess! Long live the princess! Long live the king! Long live the king! Long live the queen! Long live the queen! Long live the princess of Sanagua! Long live the princess of Sanagua! Long live the other princes and princesses of the West! Hip hip! Huzzah! Hip hip! Huzzah! Hip hip! Huzzah!